and welcome back to my channel so we're going to continue with this um you'll see on a different video where i did a christmas shopping haul for my christmas decor just ignored this pimple yeah um so now we are in the kitchen i made some cupcakes behind me and they've already cooled and i've got some chocolate sprinkle buttercream icing over here that i'm going to ice in the cupcakes that is our dessert and now i'm going to show you what i'm making for dinner we're going to have a roasted chicken i'm roasting a chicken again we're going to have some roasted lamb chops my husband wanted to grill them but i just decided that i was going to roast them and that it will be fine and we're going to have some yellow saffron rice some broccoli and cheese and i'm going to do some more cheddar bay biscuits yes a easy quick dinner to feed my family so i've already seasoned these meats um down i'm just going to show you what i used for the lamb chops i used um, about a cup of beef broth because I want them to be tender and they only take about honestly about 30 minutes so um, that's why I used half of this beef broth and I still have some left I used of course this beef bouillon seasoning Herbe Provence onion powder paprika chopped onion garlic granulated garlic black pepper and I use a little bit of brown sugar I always add just a little bit of brown sugar to my lamb or to pretty much um, any meats. yes okay now on to this chicken if you're wondering why did I do two chicken um, two different meats um, I had this in the freezer this chicken I took out this morning because I was gonna roast some chicken breast and do like a um, Mediterranean chicken but we like to eat that Mediterranean chicken with eggplant parmesan. So I was not doing eggplant parmesan. I was going to make these sides because that's the sides that I wanted to have with the lamb. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just roast this whole chicken. Um, because for my family, you've seen on previous video, we have to have two. And honestly, I'm going to have to start cooking three chickens. Because after those two chickens and sides, my kids were still wanting more meat. So, And i got to make sure my babies are fed. So that's what went down. So I just marinated this chicken in a stick. Oh, and I used two sticks of salted butter, one stick for the lamb and one stick for the chicken. And I used, I drizzled olive oil, about a teaspoon of olive oil on, on the meat because I didn't want it too oily, but I want it to be moist. Olive oil and that butter just penetrates and it just tenderizes and it flavors just opens up the pores in the the meat i guess and just makes the meat taste so good anyway i'm just going so deep so i showed you what i seasoned my lamb with now i'm going to show you what i seasoned my chicken um i did the chicken bouillon granulated garlic herbal provence as well onion powder granulated garlic ground black pepper paprika and some chopped onion as well. And I did a little bit of brown sugar and that is it. And so they are going in a 350 degree oven until they are done. When they are ready, I will tell you exactly how long it took. For the chicken, of course, it would take longer. And it's a pretty nice sized chicken. I would say about an hour and a half for this chicken. And for these lamb chops, I'm telling you about 30, 30 to 40 minutes. No longer than that because you don't want your meat to be grainy um, because that's the difference between lamb and beef. If you overcook it, it will be grainy and disgusting. So we want it to be flavorful and juicy and delicious. Okay guys, so what I decided to try um, is to make my rice and put it in the oven. I, if I'm not mistaken, I have made rice before in the oven and it turns out really good. I make rice peel off in the oven. Um, and I could do this in the Instapot, but I'm not. I, wanna, I want it to be really 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 easy dinner and try new things so i can start doing some easier things so um i'm gonna spray my pan first off let me get some cooking spray some cooking spray spray my pan it says it takes 20 minutes so It smells so good. I love yellow saffron rice. Um, so I need um, two tablespoons of olive oil. I can't find 
on my tablespoon. Hold on, just hold My, my, um, the drawer, I, mean, I really need to rearrange things, but I have this drawer that I keep all my measuring spoons and stuff in. And Cash and Joshua like to go in that drawer and pull out my stuff, so. Because I just bought, recently bought some more spoons and stuff, measuring spoons and measuring cups um, a couple months ago from, from at home. That's what it was. Let me see if I can get four tablespoons. One, two. Yay! Four. And we'll just put a little extra. I let extra finish that off. It'll be fine. So I'm gonna get break up that seasoning. If you are new to my channel, hello. I am a mom of eight children, five boys, three girls, and we homeschool. We have been homeschooling for over five years now. We started actually homeschooling before my five-year-old was even born. And that's a, 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 a funny story how it started. And I have to tell it to you later. Um, but yes, so we are a large family. It's 10 of us, me and my husband and our kids. And if you are new to this channel, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed and you're just watching the video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like and share. Share with some others that may be like, oh gosh, yes, I can relate. Or I just like watching people with big families. You know, some people are like that too. Um, or, You really wanna keep up with, I'm not on top of knowing every time a video drops, um, hit that notification bell, and that notification bell will let you know when I put a new video out. Just as soon as it hits, you will get a notification that's saying, hello, homemaking with Katrina, just put a video out. And you're able to watch later and save, and it'll also, if you do that, save, It'll remind you later on, you still haven't watched this video with Homemaking with Katrina. And so, you'll be able to watch that. Okay, back to this. So, I did four and some extra tablespoons because I had to double it because I did two um, bags. So, for the water portion, let's see. Three and a half cups. So, I'm going to do seven cups of water. have some fruit. My husband had picked up some oranges that we did in the grocery haul and he said they are disgusting. And so I'm going to get rid of those. Throw those out before any of my kids try to eat on them. That was four cups so I'm going to go ahead and get two more done. Well three more because I said I'm going to do seven cups. I'm gonna cover this with full. And I'm gonna actually double the pan so it won't make a mess. Double the pan and I'm gonna stick it in the oven 
Um, not right now, because it's just four o'clock and I, I don't I don't need it. I think it will take longer than 20 minutes. 20 minutes is what it would take if I was simmering on simmering it on the stove, and eight minutes is what it would take in the Instapot. And so um, I'm gonna wait until my meat is is ready, and then I'll put this in there. And that it may take about 30 minutes, maybe. Um, I'll just keep a check, and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. But this may be another shortcut. Save us some time. Okay, so next up, we'll get rid of this container. And I'm gonna start on my broccoli. Get this washed up and seasoned and roasted. I'm gonna actually make broccoli and cheese. I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese on it. Um, I think that'll be good. I was gonna make a broccoli, like a cheese sauce, but I'm not, it'll be just fine. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna put in a casserole dish, well, in my pan, and put the cheese on top. Mm, it's gonna be so good. And I think I have a bag of carrots too, so I may do that too because I need to get rid of these vegetables that I have not um, used, which carrots are, they're fine, but I think carrots would be an extra vegetable is not going to hurt us at all. No, you can't get cake yet. Eating our little. Hold on, our little icing is so good. Mm. I still have extra, so I'm gonna freeze this. It's so good. I love my buttercream and my chocolate buttercream. So good. Mm-hmm. You just had ice and I just gave him the spoon before I put it in the little bag to pipe. I'm so good. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Okay. So these are for dessert. Chocolate cupcakes, chocolate buttercream, sprinkle icing. Um, I have the broccoli seasoned. We'll do that last because broccoli only takes about 10 minutes. I got the carrots in there. I went on and put the rice in. And both meats are cooking. Prime, um, prime rib. The lamb chops look like they've got about 15 more minutes. And then I'm going to take those out. And yeah, so, and I'll make the biscuits last. But yeah, so that is what I got going on. So. As of right now, I'm gonna just chill, hold my baby, kiss on him, and just sit and wait until it's dinner time, until my husband gets home, and we'll be eating, and I'll show you how everything turned out. So we got our roasted chicken right here. We've got our um, brown sugar glazed carrots. We got our broccoli and cheese. We've got our rice that turned out wonderful so flaky and delicious in the oven so i will definitely be doing that again when i don't feel like washing other things because 
this pan will just go in the trash. We've got our Cheddar Bay biscuits, nice and cheesy and warm, and then our delicious lamb chops. Yes, they are roasted to perfection and they are delicious. The caramelization of the, the sauce is so good, yes. So this is dinner for my large family of 10, and I will see you guys next video, bye. Okay guys, so that is it for our dinner, what I'm feeding my family tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you try some of these recipes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye and just ignore my pimple. Bye.